In the Build All Chatbot, you have the possibility to connect growth tools to your chatbot flow. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that and also which growth tools are available. So for that, go to your page level, then go to growth tools and click on create new growth tool. So now you have the option to create a landing page, a messenger ref URL, so that's a URL you can create, connect also your flow to it and embed it, for example, in a button or share it, for example, on social media. Chat for website, that's the chat button you see on websites. Ads JSON, that's for, for example, Messenger ads uh, when you create them in your Facebook Business Manager. So you can hook up your own flow to the Messenger ads in Facebook. Checkbox plugin, you can use it also on your website where people check the box and give them consent that you send them information. And these are great tools to use, for example, um, yeah, when you're using email forms, to use them also below the email forms as an extra opt-in. And top bars, these are the bars which you see on top of your website, which you can use, for example, also for promotion. So let's go through them one by one. So click on New Growth Tool and we start with Landing Page. So we call this one LP1, for example. So give it a name. And click on the pencil and now you are able to change the text, the header text, the description text, the button size, large, standard or extra large, the button color, blue or white, and also the page background and the content type. So you can use an image, YouTube video or video hosting inside your landing page. So once you do that, click on save. And the next one will be submit a page. So you just save the initial page. So that's this actually the landing page. So once they click on the button opt in, so submit send to messenger, then you can choose here what should happen. So you can send them a message directly to their inbox by using the submit state, or you can also redirect them to a URL. You use a URL, you click here and embed or paste the URL you want to have this guy landed on, for example, a one-time offer or maybe an upsell or a thank you page. So when you want to use the submitted, uh, the submitted page, then uh, you can also change the text here and uh, also the button label. And uh, yeah, this will just notify your subscriber that he has to go to his inbox to see your message. Once you do that, click on other. So this is very important because here you have to select the flow you want to, uh, for example, to send to this guy who is opted in so in this case ebook and then you can also add a tag to it like ebook so actually this guy is also tagged once he opted in through this landing page if you're done click on save what you can do now is go to these two arrows and it's automatically generated a qr code which you can use for example to print on your business cards or just use it on the flyers if you have an offline event or on your website or you can copy and paste this link also and put it in a button on your website or just share it on the social media. So when I open this URL, then you will see here exactly the landing page. So this is just a clean landing page. I didn't change everything, but then you will see here the image or the video and also the text you edited. So this is how you can create a landing page as a growth tool. Next one will be a message in ref URL, ref1. So message ref URL is just a URL you can use when people click on it and will initiate the chatbot. And for that, go to this pencil, select again a flow, add a tag to it, and then you are good to go. Go to these arrows and okay, we have to enable the get started button because we disabled that one once we set up our conversation starter. So now we have to go to get started button, enable it. Now we can go back to the growth tools, ref URL, and then here is the ref URL we can use to embed in the button. So once people click on this ref URL, the bot will be triggered. Same when they scan this QR code. The next one will be bot for website. So this will be chatbot one. For example, click on OK, go to the pencil, select the flow in here, and also the duration. So normally it's always zero on default. So you want to have the pop up immediately once people are landing on your website. So it looks like this 
when you go to your website, this is the bot for website. And you want to have this appearing once people land on your website, so they're able to start a chat. And also you are able to hook up a flow to it. So when you go back to the chatbot, we just hook up the flow ebook, but you are not, for example, um, yeah, it's not mandatory to select, for example, a flow. You can leave a blank so people just can ask questions, for example, if they need your help, save it. And then when you go to the growth tool, this is very important. You have to whitelist your domain. So let's say I will have to whitelist, let's say, let's see which one is not whitelisted yet. So I will whitelist this one, then sync with Facebook. And then once it's synced, then you have to copy this code. And then you have to pick an iframe uh, in your Builder Old Cheetah or on WordPress where, for example, you can embed this script on your website. And once you embed a script on your website, you can put it in a header if you use WordPress or you can use it, for example, also in the script settings in Builder All and paste it there. And then this will be shown on your website automatically. So this is the, job, the bot for website. So be sure you whitelist your domain name and then you are copy and pasting this in the script sense or in the header of the website. Next one will be ads adjacent. So this is ads one. Click on OK. Click on the pencil. Select a flow. So what is adjacent? You can use adjacent if you set up in Facebook Business Manager and click to Messenger ad. If you set up a click to Messenger ad, then you can hook up your own chatbot and build all to this Messenger ad by using this code. So in the final step in your Facebook Business Manager, when you create an ad, then you can copy this one and paste it, the payload into the section in your Facebook Business Ad Manager and then save it. And then your bot is hooked up to the ad you created in the Facebook Business Manager. And once people click on your ad, this bot will be initiated. So this, uh, for example, ebook, uh, ebook chatbot will be initiated in my uh, Facebook ad. Just save it and you are done. So next will be the checkbox plugin. So this is a plugin you can use on your website. So I have a great example here. I just created them. It's a new future. So when I go to my page RPM, I'm going to show how it looks like. So here you see the checkbox plugin. So when I check this box and I click on confirm opt-in, then uh, the flow will be triggered, which I hooked up to this checkbox plugin growth tool. And this is a great tool, for example, to use, for example, um, yeah, for e-commerce. If someone enters his, for example, his shipping details, you can have a box like this below or maybe uh, on the left or right side of this form. And uh, for example, uh, say uh, if you want to um, receive further updates, for example, about uh, this product you, uh, you purchased, uh, then click on the box here and confirm your opt-in. Then we will send you messages once it's in stock or whatever you want to do with it. But also I'm using this one now uh, for the Red Profit Machine opt-in. So once people land on the page, they are able to receive my chatbot flow, the Red Profit Machine chatbot flow directly in their inbox by checking this box and confirm opt-in. It's an easy way and, a really, and also a really fast way to opt-in in my chatbot using this option. So this is checkbox plugin. When you go here, then you can set it up in here. So just select the flow like this one ebook you can allow login allow also the center or align to the center so the skin can be light or dark and you can set it up all, all up here and once you are done click on save and this is really important because when you go here to the settings you have to whitelist again the same with what we did with the chatbot bubble whitelist your domain and then you have to paste all those three things so one two three in the iframe on your cheetah website so it will be shown like here on this web page okay so you have to paste copy and paste all the three scripts in one iframe and then it will work and the top bar we will go to top bar it's the bar on top you can set up the same like click on the pencil and then you can change also text. So this is the top bar on your web page. Looks like this. You can change colors, change text, everything you want. And once they people also click on send to messenger, it's same with the landing page. And if you set everything up, 
of course you have to select the flow once people opt in which flow has to be triggered when you're done you can click save or preview or just save go to these arrows whitelist your domain again sync with facebook and then copy and paste this one also in the script of for example um, in your cheetah website or in wordpress and then uh, yeah, once uh, it's embedded then the top bar will be shown on your website and uh, you can use it also for promotions so these are the options you can use as a growth tool to build or all hook up your own chatbot flow to it which has to be triggered once people interact with your chatbot and uh, it's a really really awesome tool to use on your website so i see you in the next video Thank you.